Welcome to Carolina Sculpture Studio. My name's Clint Button, and uh, I'm a granite sculptor. Pretty much at the end of this project here, uh, I had a request for a, a pair of bunnies, and it developed into bunnies in the flower garden. Um, we went through a number of different compositional uh, concepts and development over uh, an extended period of time. Uh, we ended up started with a, a pair of lop-eared bunnies that were parallel. It was the initial idea that was brought to me by by the customer, and uh, we did some work with that to try to make them a little more recognizable as opposed regular bunnies with ears deflected as opposed to lop-eared, which some folks may not recognize as quickly. And uh, put them on a background panel for the name. It's just going to have um, the young girl's name across here uh, and then information on the back with actual dates. Uh, and we added, added some grass and then we started adding a couple of flowers and they wanted a butterfly and uh, through a number of changes it developed into the bunnies that are uh, supposed to be in a playful mood. You don't know if they're going to jump, if they're going to sit. Uh, if they're going to freeze like bunnies do when you see them outside. Um, we added some Stelladora lilies uh, on the, uh, the, one of the later renderings. Didn't have any buds, and as it progressed, I wanted to make sure they looked more realistic, so we added in the buds. They wanted Lily of the Valleys, and then they had the, um, uh, one of the patrons had, had uh, wanted uh, a number of Johnny Jump Ups or Violas, and so they kind of finished out down to the ground and uh, with the pair of bunnies. Now, this is for a, a young child that, that passed, a twin that died a day old. And uh, so uh, the daylilies, the Stelladora daylilies represent her. You have a broken stem here that's just tangent to the, to the one bunny, so this bunny represents her. Uh, and then you have the other bunny. Uh, this bunny's ready to go. This bunny's ready to play. And with the with the Narcissus daffodils, which are a little more durable, they they bought, blossom for a period of days as opposed to a day lily that's open and closed very quickly. And so these flowers are all upright. And then you have a butterfly, which is common in in uh, uh, youth oriented work. This has a, a double serp, split serp top. The back is is polished. The rear one is polished, and this this is to help represent uh, hills uh, in an outdoor uh, venue, as opposed to being on a square, um, decisive stone. So uh, it's about four inches in relief. Uh, it's an 04 bas relief. Panels raised. This is all hand carved, hand axed. If you you can see the tool marks and the cross hatching that's done to smooth the stone up. It's all finished with a chisel. It's not ground. There's no grinding or uh, diamond tools or, or any of that stuff. Uh, it's all, all hand cut. So uh, uh, it's a Georgia blue stone. It's going to go in North Carolina on a private plot. So but these are all designed to be relatively light and airy, but they're all well supported, so they should be very durable for a long period of time. Uh, it's hard to get floor work like this anymore. People don't think it can be done. Obviously it can be. They don't think it can be hand carved with chisels. Obviously it can be. Uh, and uh, it produces a surface that uh, is all axe that handles light very, very well. And um, you can see it's pretty close to flat. This makes it look far more believable, and it's not a ground surface with diamond tools that colors differently. So um, uh, this will just have a name across the center, and it'll be a very elegant stone. So uh, they do an awful lot with granite. It's a nice piece, Georgia Blue Granite. My name's Clint Button. This is Carolina Sculpture Studio, and thanks for stopping by.